know this situation. You're sewing smoothly, everything's fine, you're enjoying yourself, it's going well, and then all of a sudden, da -da -da -da, your sewing machine makes this horrific noise and you can't move your fabric anymore. You look underneath the fabric and there it is. Lots of little threads. Where do they come from? And you can't move it anymore. You can't lift your needle and remove the project. Well, that's what this video is about. Bird nests. So how did this happen? And how can you avoid bird nests like this? I'll give you some causes, some possible solutions, some tips and tricks, and in the end I'll show you a new tool, a tool set, um, with, that can help. It's like a first aid kit uh, for bird nests. Unfortunately, there's not just one solution or one cause for bird nests. There are many possible causes and you'll have to go by them one by one to check which one caused your thread bunching. The most common cause of a bird nest is the top thread not being threaded correctly. So always check if the top thread is still in the take-up lever and is following its course like it should be. Even though you threaded it well at the start of the day, you might want to check that again. Then, is your presser foot in the down position? A lot of machines won't sew if this isn't the case. Modern machines have that. But if you have an older machine, you need to check that. Sometimes when you're sewing with multiple layers, you don't even notice that you didn't put that handle down. Is your thread tension okay? Thread tension is something difficult to explain in a video like this because it depends on the machine you have, how you can adapt the tension. There's a top thread tension and a bobbin tension. So I should suggest you look at your sewing machine manual and change the thread tension in little increments and always test in between. Then go over to the needle. Your needle, is it still okay? Not damaged, not crooked? And are you using a the, the right needle for the right job. So, for example, if you have a needle that is too thin for your fabric, you might get uh, jams more easily than with a thicker needle. If you always have problems at the start of your project, so when you're starting a new line at the edge of your fabric, a new stitch line, then um, I suggest you move your fabric a little further and start like half an inch from the edge. And if you're working with really thin fabrics, maybe put some tissue paper between the fabric and the needle plate. You can rip that away easily afterwards. And always hold the two thread ends. So bring your bobbin thread to the top and hold the threads when you start. Push them down or hold them in your left hand. Then is your machine clean? Is the bobbin area clean, the bobbin case? There are not a little thread ends still hanging around and underneath your needle plate a lot of lint and dust gathering and bunching up. Check that and if you don't know how also go and take your manual, the manual of your sewing machine to check how you can clean your sewing machine on your own. And then the last thing you can check is your bobbin. Is it wound evenly? And have you placed your bobbin inside the bobbin case in the right way? So in the right direction. So with these advices, you can troubleshoot a little on your own. Make sure you um, check one thing at a time and not everything at once. So you know what the issue was. And if not, none of this helps, then you have to go to um, a technician or an expert that can check your sewing machine thoroughly if there isn't a, a technical issue or anything like that. And for the first aid solution, like I can't remove my project from my sewing machine, we have the bird nest toolkit. 
So with this toolkit you can't avoid bird nests, but you can free your project from your sewing machine without damaging the fabric. Quick and easy. So we have a hook with a long handle and a fine tip. This one I use to tuck the threads a little on top of the fabric and beneath the fabric so I can free the threads a little. And then I'll take my knife that is ultra sharp and really thin and I can cut the threads underneath the fabric if necessary. There's also a little spare blade inside the box and the box is like safe storage for the ultra sharp knife. It comes with some instructions and you can buy it on madamso.com.